Pull in here, check the cameras and the battery's dead. Come buddy, just start on me. Hello internet and welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited that you're here. I have some really exciting news. In a few days, my son and I are gonna travel all the way to the top of Alaska, Prudhoe Bay. We're leaving from Michigan and we live around the capital city of Lansing area. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna ride around Lansing a little bit, show you Michigan State's campus, show you downtown Lansing, show you kind of where we live. Then on a map, we're gonna show you how we're gonna get to Alaska, but I'm not gonna show you the route because we really don't know the route, do we, Colton? <laughs> we're gonna be taking back roads all the way up there. Yeah, we're gonna try to stay off highways as much as possible, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna stay off the highways. We're gonna go see something exciting every day. Uh, probably plan on going 200, wait, 300 miles a day max and just go enjoy the countryside of uh, the United States, Canada, and then Alaska. So we have some big highlights. Colton is 19 and Colton, we're, our goal is to get to the top of Alaska before you turn 20. We got 19 days to go and do that from when we leave. So we have 19 days in order to make it. And um, then 19 days, 20 days back, we're gonna take a totally separate route back. But uh, you got anything to say, Colton? No, I'm huh? not, I, no, but I'm excited. You're excited. What type of bike are you going to ride? I'm going to be riding this the BMW 1300 GS Trophy Edition bike. I'm really excited to ride it. Yeah, well, you've been riding it, and uh, we have our first service tomorrow. Yeah. So Colton has his first service on his bike, and I got a little service on mine, getting some new tires as well, but uh, we're going to keep you informed. Stay tuned and enjoy the journey. Well, I got you. Oh, you got, what's that? Earplugs in. Oh, you got earplugs in? I gotta put my earplugs in. But uh, that's what Colton's bike looks like right there. Looks good, Colton. All right, let's go show them around Lansing. Let's do it. So we're gonna do a little tour around Lansing so you get to see it. All right, we're off. We're gonna take off and show you around Lansing. Got our headsets in, see if they work. The street we're coming up to is called College Road, and this leads us right into Michigan State's campus. South of their campus, they have a lot of uh, crops that they grow, and they do a lot of things with livestock here. So over here is the pavilion. They have a lot of horse shows, cattle shows, other shows there. We do see some blue sky, which is beautiful in Michigan because we don't usually get that. Pull in here, check the cameras, and the battery's dead. Come, buddy, just start on me. What do you say? Is that what he said? I'll, I'll just move it. I'll move it. You get on that side of the back, you're okay. Nobody's going to that overhead door today. I just need to get to that overhead. All right, hold on. I'm going to see it. All right.
Thank you. Experience this is, man. I just got a jump by Michigan State University's uh, physical plant building. Thank goodness they came by and he just happened to have jumper cables. They actually plugged me into the front of the, the truck there. Plugged it into the side here and uh, away we go. So, home of Michigan State University football. Here is the state of Michigan capital, and there's a river right here, the Grand River. It goes through it. Five or six miles, seven miles outside of downtown Lansing where the capital is, you get this. You get open land, farm fields. So here it is. We only have two more days until we leave from Michigan all the way to the top of Alaska. Uh, super excited about it. We ha don't have an exact route at all, but we did buy some new gear. And one of the things I'm really excited about is uh, this Alpine Stars Protection Tech Air Off-Road System. It is a jacket that you can wear. It's actually really comfortable. That has shoulder pads, elbow pads that you can take out. It has a chest protector in the front. It has a back protector in the back. And you can put it on just like a jacket. And it zippers up and it activates. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. Colton, you wanna come in here and show them your new jacket? Uh, yeah. So this is this is the new jacket. So you have the chest protection, shoulder protection, which you can remove. You have elbow protection here. When it's armed, so you when it's armed. You can have three modes. You have street mode, enduro mode, or rally mode. And that's for going really fast off-road. We won't be doing that. On the back plate here, you have a hydration pack that you can actually put water. And underneath this back plate is where the canisters are with air and where to turn it on. So once it's turned on, they say you have 30 hours of riding time. And um, you actually have two deployments built into the jacket, so it'll, it'll deploy, so you don't have to wear a neck guard at all. This will actually go up, save your neck. Um, it will go around your shoulders, go around your back, and go around your chest. It's like a big cushion of an airbag to stop you from breaking uh, your shoulders or your collarbones or internal injuries. Um, helps you if a car hits you and things like that. So, we're gonna wear this. One of the things we are gonna do is we're gonna wear it underneath the jacket right here. And so when you wear it under your jacket, you're gonna to need to take out your back plate. So this has to be removed. You can use your shoulder pads and your elbow pads that are in your jacket, and you can just remove the shoulder pads and elbow pads that are in there. Okay, on the back here, you lift it up, and to arm it, you just flip this down. It arms it. There are two canisters for air. Um, you, you can actually deflate it or inflate it twice. So if you fall, one of the canisters will be used and inflate. If you fall again, second canister, you can actually buy two more canisters, self-install them so you have actually four times of airbag deployment. Um, hopefully we don't have to deploy it at all. Let me put this back on. There's different modes you have.
there's a problem though. Everything in my life I have to do twice. And um, sometimes multiple times. My brand new Alpine Star Air Vest jacket still has the tags on it. I had to actually Velcro the back here because when the back is on and seated, if you move the jacket, the back plate pops up. And I didn't want it popping up or popping off. So bought some Velcro here. And this is uh, how I rigged it together. <laughs> so, so it will stay together on our trip because uh, we're leaving and I can't get a new one. I called Alpine Star. They said, we'll send your jacket back to where you bought it from. I'm never gonna buy from the place I, I bought this jacket from. I'll never use them again. They're, they're horrible to deal with. Um, Alpine Star, I did contact Alpine Star. Uh, they weren't really that helpful uh, about, you know, the, they thought it was my problem. They thought it was my fault that this keep popping off, but we have two jackets. I know that when you put the plate on, it stays on. This one does not, it's a manufacturer defect, but this Velcro actually holds it on. So very happy about that. And uh, we'll get use out of this when we ride all the way from Michigan to Alaska. Okay. Colton, we have one day until we leave. We leave tomorrow morning and we just got done packing. Are you ready? You got the Alaska man hat on. The Alaska man is what I did in uh, Seward, Alaska, right? It's the most extreme I mean, triathlon, 2017. Most extreme triathlon in the world. But we're gonna go visit that when we're in Alaska, but uh, you got the hat on, the finisher hat on. Seven years ago. Well, give or take. Yeah, seven years ago. Holy crap. That went by fast. Mm -hmm. It went fast. Look all the things that happened in the world with COVID and everything else. But your gear's all packed. And you ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, we're excited. So stay with us on our journey. We really want to show you around and what we're doing. If you liked what you saw, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below, and we'll catch you on the next video.